I'm here with Eric and Tube Time, and he's showing us Flappy Bird on a very interesting vector display. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, that's right. So what I've got here is a uh, vintage cathode ray tube that would have been originally been meant for uh, like an oscilloscope or a silograph or maybe even a military radar. And so I've got a processor in here that's generating a vector display so that we can do, of all things, Flappy Bird. And this one is slightly more annoying than the cell phone version. I have to say it's probably my least favorite game ever. But it was fun to program, and uh, hopefully some of the people around here have uh, a good time playing it. Can you tell us a little bit about the display itself? Uh, sure, it's a 3-inch uh, cathode ray tube, and uh, runs on about 1,000 volts of acceleration. basic idea is that you want to create an electron cloud, and then accelerate the electrons, and throw them into the phosphor screen, and then they light up to create a point of light. From there, we add in a couple of deflection plates that are electrostatically driven, so it creates electrostatic field that causes the electron beam to bend in one direction or the other. And so all of that is driven by a high voltage amplifier, and the high voltage amplifier is driven by a discovery board. So we've got an ST micro discovery board and they're running the show. So it basically tells the beam where to go and uh, draws all the vectors. And now uh, is this like surplus CRT screen or, or can you buy them new? Uh, these are surplus. Fairly late model. I would estimate this one uh, probably came out of an instrument built in the 80s. And uh, th th basically at the end of the era of these very small tubes, they managed to dial in the technology to the point where we can get a very high precision display. Uh, so if we go and we look at the uh, Asteroids game over here, we'll be able to see that you can almost read the copyright at the bottom of the screen. It's a very tiny. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it looks better than anything you could do on an LCE or even an OLED. Really wonderful work. Where can people go to learn more about this? Uh, go to tubetime.us. And that's www.tubetime, all one word, .us. Sounds good. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Eric. Thank you.